In this Winning with SketchUp video, we are going to explore some additional tips and tricks for manual roof modeling. So we have our roof footprint here, and I have two roof planes, and these are just rectangular shapes here that are 2D shapes, which are both grouped. And I'm going to rotate the one on the left here up 45 degrees. And this is going to represent the 45 degree slope on our roof and I'm going to rotate this one up 35 degrees. So this roof is going to have two different slopes and our 35 degree slope, I'm going to rotate that around here as a copy. That's going to go on this plane and rotate this around this way and it's going to go on this plane as well. So I want to scale these across to make sure they fit onto the edge of our roof profile here. And I'm going to scale this up and make sure these are high enough that they can intersect. Now our 45 degree roof plane, we're going to take that around, snap it to every edge of our roof profile and make sure that it's also up high enough to intersect here. And just very quickly, we're going to move this to the corner rotate it and then scale it into place and do the same thing on this side move it rotate it and scale it until it is intersecting you can see here that this is intersecting we have a little gap there and we need to bring this one over a little bit we can go to x-ray mode to grab our scale handle now we can see everything is intersecting now we can finish off the rest here just by borrowing these roof planes and dropping them into place. Make sure we move them as a copy. Grab this one, move a copy, and grab this one and move a copy. Now we can just scale those as needed. And again, just make sure we have good intersection. Now we just need this little piece over here and this 45 degree corner and we're going to rotate that, scale that into place and we just need to scale this just a little bit to make sure we have good intersection there. So everything looks good. We have good intersection all the way around and we have a little gap here. We just need to make sure we fill that in. Here we go. So now what we can do is we're going to grab everything here. And we first want to make sure that our bottom surface is not a group because we need these edges here around the outside. And we can actually reverse that and make sure the, the right face is facing downward here. So now we're going to select everything and we want to run intersect faces, right click, intersect faces with selection. And now we want to select only the groups and delete them. So we're going to use the selection toys plugin from TomTom. Tom. We're going to select everything and choose the green here and select only groups. And we'll see our entity info will change to just groups and we're going to delete those groups. Now we're just left with a framework of edges and the intersect just created an edge everywhere we had an intersection. So now we're going to use this plugin from SketchUp for You, or the SU for You is the author here, and this is called Make Faces. So we're just going to click that button, and that went around and created faces. Now with everything still selected there, we're going to run from Edge Tools, and this is from TomTom, Tom, the Erase Stray Curves and we see that cleaned up everything and just left us with a little face here we're going to drag select that and group that and delete it and now we can erase this little edge here if we grab everything and group it you can see we have a solid group so just like that we created our very nice clean roof geometry by using those planes and running that intersect, running make faces and erasing straight curves. So I'm going to do this one more time and walk through this again. So here we have all of our roof planes. You can see these are just sitting here on top of our profile. 
and we're going to grab everything, select only. Uh, actually, before we do that, we're going to grab everything, go to intersect faces with selection, select everything, select only the groups, delete them, make faces, erase stray curves, and, and then just erase that little leftover piece or any le little leftover pieces we may have. And now we have a very nice clean roof that we've constructed manually. And we can take this a step further now. And what I want to do is I'm going to group the bottom. And I'm going to pull this down. And this will be our fascia. And I'm going to bring that down. We can see that's a solid group there. So we can take this upper section here. And I'm going to add a little bit of thickness to this using vector push pull in our joint push pull tools. So I'm going to use vector here. Make sure that's set to the Z direction. Make sure we have thickening turned on in our finishing. We want contour in our borders and we want to turn off generate as a group. So we're going to do that and we're going to bring that up. And we can bring that up, um, let's say an inch and a half. Now we've added thickness to our roof planes there. We can select them all, make those a group. And now if we look at that, we can see we have a nice solid object. So we have two solid groups here, which means we could use the solid tools on either of these if we needed to. And now let's go in and create our ridge caps here. And we can do that really quickly. And we're going to use this tool here which is split faces into multiple pieces and that's a part of edge tools as well. So we're going to run that. I'm going to bring that down and I'm going to go four inches here. And I have this set up as a shortcut. So I'm going to go around and just run this everywhere. I'm just going to go grab our edge, pull it the direction we need to. type 4 enter and we can manually make a little connection here um, we can do that this way grab our edge run our split faces here bring that down and now we can delete that edge and run our plugin again and we'll come all the way around here We only want to do that on these outer pieces where the actual um, ridge shingles would go or tiles. And a couple more here. And we can delete that. Bring that down. We want to We'll snap that to that piece there. And let's just do these last couple. There we go. So now we can go in and we want to select all of these faces. And it might actually be easier to select everything and then just deselect. these faces here and deselect that one and I'm going to deselect only the faces and I'm going to bring a copy of those up so I guess I have the interior faces selected as well so let's try that again let's grab everything now let's drag deselect here That way we'll deselect the inner faces at the same time. And we can just grab only the faces here and pull a copy up like that. And we grabbed a little bit of an extra edge here. So let's just get rid of that. And now we can run through here. And I'm going to clean this up with a plugin called Fix It 101. Group that and select all this, run fix it 101 and that cleaned up all of those ones we made there. So now I'm going to do the same thing with the vector push pull 
on this surface. So I'm going to grab that and let's bring that up here, maybe a half inch, three quarters of an inch, something like that. And now we can grab a corner and bring that back down, snap that to there. And I'm going to actually cut that, get out of our group, and paste in place. Now we can see we have three solid groups. And one more finishing touch here. We can go and throw a gutter on. And I'm going to get inside of this group here. And I'm going to pull up Profile Builder. And I have a gutter profile that I created. I'm just going to double click on this face here. So I have all the center edges selected. And I'm going to use this button here. Do I want to reverse it? Yes, because they're inside there. And now we have our gutter. I'm going to cut that get out of the group and paste that. So now we have a gutter as a solid group here, roof as a solid group, we have our fascia here as a solid group, and our ridge caps as a solid group. So just like that we were able to go through and manually build this roof, put those details on, and make sure everything is good, uh, clean solid geometry. Now if we ever needed to go and cut through any of these pieces. We needed to add some type of a dormer or anything along those lines because everything is solid. If we have SketchUp Pro and we are using solid tools, we can do that fairly easily here just by taking our solid shape and we can use our solid tools and trim through that. So we could subtract there and subtract that from our roof plane. First what we would want to do is make a copy of that. Now we can run through and subtract it and get into this group here, paste that again and we want to subtract from there and we could paste that again and subtract from our gutter there. So now we see that is sitting in there and we have a good cut all the way around. So I hope that was helpful and can speed up your manual roof modeling workflow. So we'll see you in the next video.